Hey, welcome back. I hope everybody is having a great Thursday. And thank you so much for joining me talking all things Masters of the Universe. Today on the channel, guys, once again, we're doing another relook and revisit as we wait for new figures to show up. And uh, we'll talk about that. We'll get a little, a little, some updates about figures um, that I are still um, delayed, especially the Horde Trooper. I was hoping to get that Horde Trooper today to unbox with you guys, but it's still uh, coming. It's still in the mail, so hopefully very, very soon we'll be able to unbox that version of the Horde Trooper from Masterverse from the Mattel Creations exclusive. But today we thought, you know, let's do a quick uh, revisit of the Wave 1 Masterverse line, and there was quite a few, you know, unique figures. It's been a while since I've, you know, looked at the Wave 1 uh line from masterverse um we and we've done this before of course you know with the re, with the relooks and revisits uh, especially with the origins line with the cartoon collection you know wave one you know um and kind of in the cgi line but we have not really done it with the masters line so it's kind of a you know it's kind of surprising like i you know about uh what figures were included in wave one of masterverse of course you know we do have he-man and skeletor right there which we'll look at another day together we have Moss Man and Evil Lynn, which we'll look at maybe on Friday together. But there also was Skelegod and Battle Cat and, of course, Faker. Okay, and today on the channel we'll be revisiting Faker from the Wave 1 line. All right, the deluxe packaging. Unfortunately, I do not have a loose version of, of this version of Faker. So it's going to be, a, you know, so we'll just look at the figure in the packaging. Uh, the artwork he comes with and go from there. Of course, if you are new to my channel or first time watching... I hope you will subscribe afterwards. I hope you will hit that like button. And thank you so much for doing that. Hit that notification bell when you upload new videos. And please share this video who has a passion and a love for collecting all things Masters of the Universe. Without further ado, let's take a relook at Faker. Okay. And also I'll give you a little updates about, you know, up, you know, about figures that are kind of in delay right now. Um, and of course, like the Horde Trooper and the um the Target exclusive He-Man Vecna or Vecra uh, Stranger Things 2 pack has been delayed again. Um, and also I'm going to talk about, you know, how I'm kind of curious of how Mattel decides on what figure to create. Not just a Masterverse line, but you can, I'm going to use Masterverse as the, the staple, as the, you know, um, of course, it could be Origins, Cartoon Collection, you know, Prince of Power line, you know. So I'm kind of curious how they decide on what figure to make for us collectors, all right? And I'll, and, I'll, and I'll explain why when, when I'm talking about during the video, okay? But it's all about Faker here. So here we go. So here he is in the packaging right here, the big deluxe packaging right here. And I believe this Faker, uh, I think was a Target exclusive, you know, when he, when he first came out. And one of those figures where I just kept putting off and putting off to get a second one. And I thought I had so much time in the world to get and I just, you know, that's my dumb luck. You know, I should have gotten one when I when I should have, um, but I didn't. But I'm sure I can go online to Big Bad Toy Store or, you know, or Entertainment Earth or Amazon to, you know, pick myself up a second version. So it's one of those things where I need to do it. You know, I just keep putting it off. And for the most part, just totally forgetting about it. But I still have this one version of Faker, and to me, this is my version of Faker, but let's take a look at him closely in the package right here. Of course, you get the 30 points of articulation right there, and you get the, the old school Masterverse logo right there. Of course, he comes with his own version of the Power Sword, with the, kind of like the orange uh, variant right there, was known from Faker. There he is. There's old Faker right there. All right. Now, what I love about this version of Faker here, first of all, this is to me, this is to me personally, this is my version of Faker, like I said. And I cannot wait. I cannot wait to get the cartoon collection version of Faker, the filmation style of Faker. Because, you know, I, and I love the blue version, because Faker being my second all time favorite figure of all time, of Master of the Universe, um, I love this version of Faker, um, the more of the human skinned he-man not the blue variant no i love the don't get me wrong the blue variant is amazing but you know in the first time seeing faker in the in the filmation cartoon uh he wasn't blue of course he was like he-man with the glowing eyes okay now you can see I, I love the fact that you can see the skin rip almost like blood all around him all right you get that really cool like 
like Terminator, like Terminator, like face sculpt right here with half robot and half skin right there. Got the He-Man H right there. There he is. Very cool. Got a couple bears hands. Of course, he has. If he wished to, you know, I like the fact that he included the the faker like um, Skeletor orange armor to switch out if you wish. All right. Of course, you know the shield right there. Also comes with two head sculpts right there, fully robotic right here, and the normal head sculpt. Now, also I noticed too in these, in, in which I've, it's been it's been some time since I've looked at these figures, um, from about three years now. I've noticed too that there's no like computer screen, and which, you know, filmation Faker never had. Okay. Now, one thing I, I do like about this faker is the fact that when he was shown in the Revelation show, to me, I was completely faked out. Um, if you have not seen it, um, it was one of the early episodes, um, how Skeletor gained access to Grayskull, spoiler alert, um, He-Man, which we now faker, comes, I think, with Stratos, which then turned into Night Stalker, I think, um, you know... Sorceress came down. You know, He-Man, I think, was kind of hurt, and wasn't He-Man it was Faker. And so it faked me out. I love the fact that they faked me out because the last time we saw this version of Faker on the Filmation cartoon was that only episode back, the second episode or third episode, I think, um, where she fell into the the the, um, you know, the chasma like by Grayskull, and that's the last time we ever saw this kind of version of of Faker. So to see him again, which was a nice surprise, and I like the fact that even, you know, how they faked it out, you know, you know, I was faked out, you know, I, I like that, that, that reveal that Faker was back, this version of Faker at least. So I, I was very su surprised. One of the, you know, one of the good things, I think, that came from the Revelation show and how they did it um, was a nice surprise. All right, so very cool. I like that. I just want to give you that little heads up. But very cool packaging, right? Of course, there's a side shot of Faker right there. Got the red eyes right there. You got the uh, full, like, robotic version, kind of with the head sculpt right there of Faker. Of course, the backdrop. And you can see the other figures of kind of Wave 1. These being, like, Wave 1, I would call these guys, including Faker, like, like Wave 1.5. We got of course Skelegod and Battle Cat. And you have Faker, little bio. He's the evil robot of Skeletor. Right there. Some cool artwork. Alright, of course the other side. This has Faker, the evil robot of Skeletor. Alright. But yeah, I think I think this, you know. I can, like I said, I cannot wait, you know, personally to get that cartoon collection version of Faker. Um, I'm sure if you've been, you know, if you're a great customizer, because the only thing the difference between Faker, Faker from the Filmation cartoon, and of course in He-Man, if you ever watched that cartoon from Filmation, is that Faker had like glowing, like white eyes, um, and that's pretty much it. And of course he had more of a like robotic voice. But that's it, as far as, you know, you know, differences between... So, if you're a really good painter and customizer, I mean, you could probably take, a like, a cartoon collection version of He-Man and just paint his eyes with some sort of, like, very, you know, cool white, like, paint, you know, over the eyes to, you know... And you pretty much have your Faker right there. So, but I cannot wait to get that version of Faker. And this Faker here, I mean, I love it. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love the, the blue variant... A faker we got later down the masters line um you know um from the thing the new attorney line you know but to me personally you know as a fan of the filmation cartoon that got me started collecting you know so many years ago for over 40 years ago it's now in a way i mean this version is always gonna be my version of faker let me know in the comments below if you wish um what has been do you prefer this faker you know or do you prefer the blue version of Faker? Both Fakers are great. Don't get me wrong. They're still great. But to me, this will always be my version of Faker. And the way they did it, like, I love it. Like I said, it's like blood. Like, sorry, guys. I, you can see the blood, like the red right there. It's been ripped. You can see blood all over the, the torso and the arms right there. You can see right there. Like, he's bleeding. Like, it's kind of cool. They had it in the face cup as well.
course, you got the Master Universe Revolution, Faker right there, Mattel. Big window. I love the fact that they have this nice, you know, and another thing, you know, I got to point out, and I've, and I've said it before, I love the fact that the old packaging has this big window box. You can see everything, the figure itself, you know, everything included right there in front of you. I mean, amazing. And I, but I do love the artwork of the new packaging. I will say that the, the new artwork is beautiful, you know, but I would love to have them give us back that full window uh, packaging to see the figure itself, the items to come with. I would love the way they can try, try to give us both in a way, you know, but this faker, I mean, is amazing. I love the look of him. He looks great. And, and, and like I say, it's been some time. It's been some, some time since we looked at Wave 1. Or at least for me, I, it's been a while since I've looked at Wave 1. And I couldn't remember exactly. I knew He-Man and Skeletor was part of this wave. But I forgot that Moss Man was a part of this line. I am Evil Lynn. Well, Evil Lynn is a given. Because, you know, you know, just like she's an iconic you know, villain. And so, like Wave 1 of, you know, the Origins line was Evil Lynn. Um, but you would think it would be kind of like Tila. You would have like... Tila and He-Man and Skeletor and Evil Lynn. But, of course, Tila came, I believe, at Wave 2. But, yeah, Moss Man, which is very unique and a very different take on Moss Man. You know, not my favorite version of Moss Man, I will say that. But we'll look at him tomorrow. Now, let's talk about, you know, really fast. Hopefully, it's really fast. You know, how does, like, I'm kind of curious of how Mattel, you know, decides what figure to create for us collectors, okay? I, I, I only assume it's some sort of, like, like random, like, um, generizer, whatever, you know, like, you know, because, you know, you, of course you have the revelation line and the revolution line, which is a given because it's right part of the cartoon. Yes, that's a given, but figures like, you know, we got, let's say, for example, we have the sun man line. We got, of course, sun man and of course, pig and, and the master's line, right? But nothing has come out from the other figures. I mean, there are other figures that I hope at some point we'll get, you know, let's look at, you know, or like the CGI line, right? We have two figures from that line, right? Um, we got He-Man and Skeletor, but yet there's other figures from the CGI line. So I'm kind of curious of when we're going to be getting, I'm sure we will get those, those figures at some point, but I'm curious when. Now, my guess is right now, probably not for, for a long time, because of course, you know, what's really working for the Masters line, at least for me, um, as far as new figures from the Masters line, is the new Attorney line. I think the new new Attorney line is probably by far the best that has come out for Masters, um, because Dirt is really nailing it um, for the, uh, you know, for figures that, you know, that were left in the, on the drawing board floor, you know, and now coming to life for us collectors. So I think Masters new Attorney line is pretty much is the given right now. But you have line like like the new adventures of He-Man, right? You have He-Man, Skeletor, of course, but then you have Slushhead, right? With all the, that's like some random figure that you just created for us, like Slushhead. I mean, nothing nothing against Slushhead. I mean, but there are so many other figures from that brand that they could have done. I think there was a what about the leader of the mutants? You know that was you know it was supposed to be he, like Skeletor's boss in a way yeah, I think I I'm not sure if it, Krog Gog I, it's I don't even know the name of the guy because I never really watched the show but I hope you know what I'm talking about but some random figure like Slushhead you know that we got from New Adventures of Human but that's it so far nothing else we've got nothing from the Snake Men line you know King Hiss you know or any like or Cobra Khan or you know Rattler or you know Tongue Lasher you know or like what else? Uh, I just had it in my in my head like n nothing for the two thousand X line as well from the Masters line. So I'm kind of curious about who decides. You know, I'm, I know it's Patel. Like they, I'm sure they sit down. You know, and 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 they decide like what's the next wave? Let's say wave sixteen. What do we do? Like what? Do, I'm kind of curious if, if you know in the Princess of Power line. You got Frosta and you have Prince. You know, Shira. But that's it. So I'm just kind of curious of, about that, you know, I was thinking about that, you know, when I was like about to prepare this video here with you guys, it's like, how do they decide, you know, what figure to create for us collectors, you know, what will, you know, make us like get excited, you know, oh my God, like this is, you know, we're going to finally get this person finally, you know, we're going to get so-and-so from, you know, um, 
from the from the Snake Man, or you know, oh, we're finally getting He Man. I think the 2000 X line, you know, um, I feel like they're gonna hold off on that um, until it might be the anniversary. I think the anniversary is coming very soon from the show, and I have some some strange feeling that you know, um, once the anniversary comes, um, you know, um, I'm sure Mattel will give us some sort of really cool um, exclusive He Man Skeletor. For Masterverse for the 2000 X line, I'm hoping that's the case. I hope not. I hope it's sooner. But yeah, so I'm just kind of curious about that. I'm just you know just wondering about that. You know, so all right, guys. Of course, I'm gonna give you some updates too. You know, um, um, once again, um, I got notification um, that the He-Man uh, Vecra uh, Stranger Things two pack has unfortunately got been delayed as well. I'm sure if you, if you pre-ordered this. Uh, two pack as well. You might be in the same boat as me, and I'm kind of curious about that. That's kind of weird to me. You know, we've known about these two figures for some time now. Um, you know, we saw photographs of them, um, and you would think that once the, something was announced, you know, that it would be in production, you know, right away. So I'm kind of curious why. What's what's you know what's you know about the delay? Because of course you know He Man. We already got the sculpt of He Man. Uh, the two pack. You know box art in a way it's kind of it's probably gonna be similar with the skeletor demi gorgon one and then for vecra i hope i'm saying his name right the bad guy i mean i'm sure they're gonna be using parts from other he-man figures to create vecra so i feel like it's all there i'm just kind of curious what's going on why i'm sure i'm there's a very good reason of course maybe you know with the bad weather happening all around the world you know things get delayed i get it but something that's been in production for some time now, you think it will be here because it's supposed to. Be, it should have. It should have been here by you know, you know, early October. And now I'm getting notification will be here early November. Um, and some point that Tubop uh, figure from Target exclusive should be hopefully coming out sometime November too. So I guess I gotta play the waiting game. So it's kind of you know, uh, I hate doing the waiting game. I'm sure you guys are as you know don't like the wait as well, but. We have to do it. And of course, I did pre-order the uh, Skeletor uh, and Zodak um, uh, Masterverse uh, Walmart exclusives. Um, and, and according to uh, Walmart, they're not going to be here until like May 1st of 2025. Really? Wow, that's a ways off. Hope I can remember. Uh, <laughs> but I pre-ordered at least one of those figures for the collection to, uh, to look at with you guys. All right. Of course, the Horror Troop is on his way. All right. All right, guys. I was just, really, I'm just, just, you know, I was just curious about some certain things. I'm kind of, you know, I love to hear your feedback, you know, about, you know, at least Wave One, you know, um, you know, if you remember Wave One, um, like, and like I said, the Wave One figures have come a long way, you know, um, Bastards has come a long way with their figures and, the, you know, and you know, the look of the fig with the box art, the figures themselves, you know. So I'm just kind of curious, you know, how you, th you know, your thoughts and feelings of Wave One of masters all right all right guys i'd like to take the time now of course to thank my subscribers all right thank you so much for joining me today guys all right and thank you so much also guys for these you know i mean for these you know you know um you know doing these re revisits and relooks you know uh, on the channel like you and, I, and i'll say it um again i hope i don't mean to be a broken record um like you guys i'm gonna have to wait you know i'm just waiting for new figures to show up like you you know Hopefully, very very soon, we'll be getting some new figures like from the Princess of Power line, Shira, Matana, Ram Man, uh, Hordak as well. Um, you know, Turtles of Grey Skull. You know, Masterverse. Um, so you, I'm just gonna have to play the waiting game. So I do appreciate you guys. You know, c tuning in and watching. You know, um, you know uh, my relooks and revisits because I like doing these. Because like I said, it's been such you know such a long time. Since I've done uh, a relook, especially for Wave One for Masterverse from the Revelation line, and I couldn't remember, uh, like I said, like the other figures besides He-Man and Skeletor that was part of that Wave One line, and I was kind of um, very surprised to see Moss Man as the other figure. All right, but thank you again, guys. All right, all right. So once again, thank you for joining me today, guys. All right. Of course, don't hit. Sorry, guys, I had to clear my throat. So, once again, guys, thank you for joining me today, guys. Today, guys. I hope you hit that notification bell when you upload new videos. And tomorrow, we'll look at Moss Man and Evil Lynn from Wave 1. All right? So, I hope you guys have a great Thursday. And I'll see you guys on Friday. 
Take care and have a good one, everybody.